How's everything going? <laughs> Enjoying all the ruckus out there? Getting pretty interesting, isn't it? Uh, you know, taste and see the Lord is good. I mean, it's amazing. Here in Canada, there's a lot of things going on. Uh, and uh, spiritually, uh, it's kind of tough on the church, not meeting uh, in person. But, you know, taste and see the Lord is good. Taste and see the Lord is good. Psalm 34. Uh, I was just reading over a few uh, things people have been sending me. And and uh, especially on Parler. <laughs> it's interesting, right? Everybody uh, on the Democratic uh, supporter side is after Parler now because shares in uh, Twitter are down. Uh, everybody's leaving the platform and um, just fascinating. Now, uh, there was apparently another, uh, I don't know, I'm not uh, going to say it happened at all, but apparently there was a blackout at the Vatican and some say the Pope was uh, charged on 80 counts. It's not verified. Um, who knows? I, I've never really had a good vibe for pro Pope Francis anyway. Um, I don't really know why people are listening to him. He, there's nothing, I'm not a Catholic, but there's nothing there that shows with his speeches that shows he's a, he's a believer. So, you know, we got a few more days under the Trump administration. Uh, and uh, I'm going to post a link of this general in the States uh, who has spoken out to a few people. Uh, I don't know where it was recorded, but it was quite a, I've seen a few different versions of it. And he's telling uh, people of some things that are going on in the White House uh, under Donald Trump right now. And, and apparently, um, Lynn Wood, uh, I do take some of his stuff pretty serious. Uh, he is on Parler as well. He's banned from Twitter now and Facebook, I think, him and Trump. But they, uh, he's legal counsel for uh, Trump. Um, he's uh, talking about, Lynn Wood is talking about uh, the uh, president's trying to do an emergency broadcast uh, on the uh, airwaves, which he's, I mean, with the internet and everything. I'm sure the Democrats are going to try to block that. Um, there's some things apparently he wants to say that are very important. Uh, we don't know this this whole thing, this transition to power is far from over right now. So let's see what happens. Let's keep in prayer. Uh, we know this is no surprise what the Democratic uh, Party is doing. They, uh, they've been at this for years now. Um, they want to pull down In God We Trust, basically, from the United States. And as Canadians, we have an obligation to stand with our friends out in the States and pray for the country and uh, be supporters and, and, and tune into our own. You know, people say, well, you know, Christians shouldn't be involved in politics. Well, you know, that's not true at all. A lot of the Christians who founded the United States were the early founders and fathers, um, reverends and and uh, deacons and churches uh, were involved in, in, you know, what better way to have a government than a, a government that is full of people that know the Lord? Do you want people that are promoting atheism, that are Stalinism, Marxism, whatever you want to call it, globalism? Um, Christians can be involved in any field the media, being a baker, being a hockey player, whatever whatever it is. And it's great to be involved in it in, in society because society needs us as the spirit leads. Let's not do stuff in our flesh. Let's not be mean spirit. And, and I've seen some people that say, you know, they love God and everything. And then just cussing comes right out of their mouth. Um, and the it can boil up in me too, anger, um, things can happen. And that's why we got to keep ourselves in check with the Holy Spirit. But let's keep in prayer uh, what's going on here uh, in these last few days of the transition. If if there is going to be a transition, will, will Trump, um, you know, pull something out of the hat? Will, will he, um, you know, 
will there be military involved? It's up to the generals, really. Generals are controlling a lot of the, the destiny of the United States as well. And it looks like I gotta let my dog out now. So anyways, I just wanna to touch base with you. And uh, let's keep me posted, keep sending me your links, keep me in prayer, and I you. And uh, you know, God bless you, take care.